morning, beautiful people. How y'all be? Mm. Calories is still sharp. It's not the electrics. It really is the agenda they're pushing. Purely because if it was the electrics, right? Then why were the lights on in Greg's? And if you can't see, <clears throat> if you can't see the agenda they're pushing, then I don't know what else to say to you. Um, there's one thing being lied to, and then there's another thing being brainwashed. Even the shops, like prime example, stereo from size. Mm. Because they're very biased and they're liars. Do you remember when I said I sent some trainers back and I never heard nothing? I came back after two weeks. Yeah, she told her, like, <clears throat> I bought them on the 8th. Yeah, I took him back within what five, six days. Um, they said they sent it off for an inspection. They gave me a decision by the 15th and then said they're going to send them my trainers back to the shop. So I rang them up and I said, I'm, I'm appealing that I don't want a second inspection. They made me believe that it had been sent back and the shop had resent them for the second inspection. Right, they said the second inspection, it will take a week to come back and then two weeks to do the inspection by another organization in there, by another floor in the organization. Cool. I went in there two days ago because no one's contacted me, no one said anything. And this is how you know these people's full of shit. Firstly, why are you selling defective trainers? So that you think people have a right to know. So basically, as you've seen, I put the trainers on my page. Barely worn. Barely worn. You can clearly see the angle of the trainer. On the left trainer, she's straight. But the right trainer is going like that. So when you put your feet in, your feet's going inwards, basically. They made me believe that my trainers had been like resent back. It was a lie. So from the 15th of September, why have you held on to my trainers? So when I'm thinking they've been resent back, oh no, they haven't. They've been sat in the same place. And then he said, oh, they tried to ring me. Why would you try to ring me for when I'd already spoken to somebody and specified that I was appealing their decision? Full of shit. Either way, they could have emailed me. They had my phone number, they had my email. They're trying to use the fact that I had to change my number. It's probably people them in the shop that were stalking my phone. Weirdos. But yet, though, all the staff have changed conveniently. And the manager. We are now on what? The 20th of October. So from the 15th of September to the 20th of October. And now they're telling me your trainers are at the shop. Do you get my point now? 
and this is what's going on everywhere. And the thing about it is, obviously, as time has gone on, the world's gotten worse. I understand that. <clears throat> but I've never had this problem before. Come to find out that size is actually the old JD Sports. Mm. They just changed their name. Yeah, why don't you just say JD Sports? So basically, that's a cover up in my eyes. So, what they're doing is when you try on the good trainer inside the shop, when they go and get you like the pair, they're basically giving you a defected shoe with the trainer. Yeah. Um, now maybe they should change their policy because to me that's wrong. To me it's just a lot of um, prejudice and bias. Biasness. Mm -hmm. So today I'm going to go and collect them. Hmm. But I will never whilst I'm breathing air, purchased anything from that shop. I think that shop needs to get boycotted, to be quite honest with you. Yeah, that's wrong. And I said to the man in the shop here, yeah, all they care about is selling you as much goods as they can, because obviously they're getting commission, whatever the case may be. Or they're telling their staff, yeah, if you sell, if you push as much good as you can on a person, you know, you get a bonus kind of thing. Or they're selling their defected trainers that should be sent back to the warehouse and pocketing the money. Yeah, so they're all involved because corruption's everywhere. And that's a fact, corruption's everywhere. But, um, yeah, I literally just woke up. And I'm speaking on it purely because... It's not like I'm rich, like I can afford it, do you know what I mean? It's because of circulation problems I have in my legs, why I buy that type of trainer. But I won't be buying it no more. I'll have to find an alternative, you know? Because that's one thing I'm not going to promote, is that type of conduct, do you understand? Because of my thought about it. Not everybody can afford things like that. But um, my point was to the man in the shop, because they could clearly see, and the worst thing about it is, they was changing the trainers over. That's the whole point. In the beginning, they was changing the trainers over. And it seems it, I know that's what it is. I just had the sixth sense, I just knew it. It's like the boss saw me on the fucking camera and said, no, why? I literally had, the replacement pair of trainers just sprang down to me. Yes. And then they said no. So that just told me you people are full of shit. And this is what you've been doing to a lot of people. Well, guess what? Not no more. Because I will continue. I don't care what you say. I will continue to expose fuck you like that. Yes, I will. Do you understand? Can you imagine if that was, I don't know, a parent that ain't rich, that's working multiple jobs to provide for their family and say things to that child, that's what that child wanted for their birthday, whether it be birthday or Christmas. And that parent has saved up in order to purchase that for their child, just to put a smile on their face. And that child puts on that trainer and if that's the case, why, why don't they not change their policy, you know? Because there's no way you could have known in that little space inside their shop, you know, that the chain is defected. There's no way you could have known. Do you know what I mean? It's only when I was walking for about 10, 15 minutes, I noticed my feet 
you know, by the time, obviously, I'm busy myself, I had things to do. Otherwise, I'd have brought it back a lot earlier, you know, so that's fine. And then they sent me some stupid email trying to imply that I did something to the trainers. Really? Okay. That's the game they're playing. It's like they like to shift the blame all the time. But it's really convenient that all the staff, especially the guy that I that was serving me at the time, <coughs> Um, is gone. Even the manager. Why is that? Yeah. And I can't remember if I took his name on. I think I did. Because I said it on my, um, on my platform, I believe. But yeah, this is the bullshit. We live with. I know what's going on. Doesn't matter how much he's dressed up to look like something else, I know what it is. Which is why you've been trying to silence people or, or get their channel stopped or get them shadow banned. Do you know what I mean? Or just to try and shut down their whole account. Hmm. What's up with that? So yeah, as you can see, I've literally just woken up. Yeah, I do. I go to bed with computer phone, I wake up with computer phone. Um, my heart ain't corrupted. Not like a lot of people in society and free will in it, so. Mm -hmm. But I choose not to go down that path. Shit doesn't lead nowhere. And it's funny how they're like, yes, your trainers are ready to collect from the shop. Because they was there the whole time then. Exactly, they was there the whole time. Make that make sense. Because I know I'm not crazy. Definitely not. I know I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm not stupid. I see and I feel. I'm standing ten toes down on that one. Absolutely. So yeah. Blessed Friday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Blessed Friday. to go and pray, pray, pray and meditate, and do my morning ritual, so yeah everybody, hope you're having a good Friday, Blessed Friday. Be thankful to be here. Be glad you woke up every day. Be thankful. RIP my condolences to those that didn't. Mm. And we're in a season where 
there's going to be a lot of people not waking up, you know, to be thankful for today, because tomorrow is not promised. And with that being said, I'm out of you. I got some breakfast to go to. Yes. So yeah. <clears throat> Stay blessed. Stay high vibing. Keep your love tank full. Full, 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 full. You know, forgive yourself as well and be kind to yourself. That's the main thing is be kind to yourself. Because, yeah, it's been a lot. Take it from me. And to my doppelgangers, hey. How you doing? It's actually a compliment, actually. People copy me. You could take it as an insult. I take it as a... Uh, a sarcastic compliment, I would take it as. Mm. Okay, let's be very clear. Because it's only one me. There will only be one of me I won't be copied, cloned, doppelganged remember what you put out in the universe will come back for you and that's a fact so yeah Friday blessings peace